All right, what's up guys? VV back with another video. And in today's video, guys, we're going to be checking out um, Foxy Pirates. We're going to be checking out this really cool new deck coming out in OP07, or new leader, I guess I should say. And we're going to be checking out my version of the deck. Because for those who are not aware, uh, this leader is not exactly popping off in the East yet. So there, there was no decks for me to review or to like talk about and to play test. I had to make up my own list, kind of using my own method, my own um, you know my own deck building methods. And I was I was pleasantly surprised. This leader I think is better than it's being given credit for, but I do think it needs a little bit extra support. And uh, we'll we'll talk about that as we get into the video. So you know what you're getting into, guys. A little bit of a spoiler style video. We we don't get access to this in the West for about two and a half months or so, three months, uh, but. For those who have the sim and it is free to download, you're going to be able to play with this leader as soon as you want to, as soon as you download the sim if you don't already have it. So that's such a such a great opportunity for us, um, you know, in, in the West to be able to play with these actual new leaders and play in the new uh, the new meta and all that stuff. Okay, so let's go ahead and dive into this um, real quick before we get started. Got to say, like, okay. Um, Anyone who's planning on going to the Kissimmee Regional, if you have not worked out your accommodations yet, this is a pretty solid deal being offered over at MoonlightTCG.com. And again, to get there, you just click, you go to MoonlightTCG.com, you click over here on the upcoming tournaments, you go down to Kissimmee or any of these, any of these tournaments you're looking to go to, but Kissimmee is the one coming up soon on April 20th. This is the one that I will be going to, by the way. And it's got this really killer deal here for you know, an exclusive discount for anyone who needs to have like you know, who needs to stay at, at a hotel for the night who, who's from out of town. Eighty dollars per night. It is about twenty minutes away. It does say that on here from the convention center. So do take that in, in, in mind. You know, you'll, you'll probably need some kind of Uber or something if you're flying in. I don't know how people are setting it up. Maybe if you drove in though, it's about twenty minutes away. It's good to know. And like I said, really good deal. However, you have to book this by April 13th, and I'm recording this on April 10th, and I'm going I'm to be posting this video on April 10th. So just, just trying to give you guys a heads up, and I hope to see you guys there. This should be a lot of fun. Okay, so there, there is that. Let's go ahead and hop over and check out the deck first. So just to get, give an order, we're going to look at the deck that I'm using first, we're going to watch the videos next, and then we're going to kind of do like some final thoughts uh, at the very end. So this is the deck I was using. For those who don't know what the leader does, let me go ahead and read that real quick, because it is absolutely vital to how the deck functions this is a 5,000 power five life purple you know monocolored leader and it has when attacking understand you know pay attention very careful here dawn minus three that's a large investment dawn minus three if you have three or more foxy pirates right three or more foxy pirates foxy pirate characters in play choose up to one each of your opponent's rested leaders and characters rested leaders and characters the cards you chose do not become active during their owner's next refresh phase. Guys, did I not just do a video talking about how uh, Mono Green Bonnie is just straight lockdown? I guess this is Purple's version of a control deck. Now, I think it needs a little more support. It's not there yet, but I think uh, with a leader like this, guys, very there's a lot of potential here. Okay, so let me let me just run through the list real quick, and I'll talk about it as we go. I'll talk about it at the end of it. So four Miss Doublefinger 2K Counter, four Reiju, four um, Itamamizu, four Capote, four Gina, four Tony Tony Chopper, four Pickles, four Big Pan, four Foxy, four Porsche, two of the Noro Noro Beam, three of the Noro Noro Beam Sword, three of the Megadon Nine Tails Rush, really cool name, and then two Blast Breath. I'm only running ten cards in this entire deck that are not. Foxy Pirates, and that is the four 2K counter uh, double fingers, the four Ray shoes, and the two Blast Breaths. That's it. Because remember, you need three Foxy Pirate characters in order to use this leader effect. It's very important. Uh, I'm going to give a quick overview of how these cards function, and then we'll go straight into the games. Itamamizu is your way to generate Dawn, because remember, Dawn minus three for using this effect. We need a way to generate Dawn, and we need three characters in play. So that's a good thing about this card. He just sits in play and generates Dawn. Unless they have removal, obviously, then they can get him. Now, Capote helps us establish a card on the board while locking down their character. This card is a Dawn minus one on play. If your leader is Foxy Pirates, up to one of your opponent's six cost or lower characters cannot attack until the end of your opponent's next turn. So you're locking down a six or less. Gina is a 2k counter. She can ramp a Dawn, and she replaces the Dawn if you have uh, less than or equal to your opponent, which is nice, but this is really just a 2k counter, to be honest. But it's nice to have that effect if you need to fill up the board and you still need the Dawn for the turn. Okay, next up is Tony Tony Chopper, just an incredible blocker that also, on play, if you have less than or equal Dawn than your opponent, generate a Dawn, or, or uh, you know, uh, 
how do they say it? Add up to one Dawn to your Dawn uh, field rested. Now, Pickles makes it where if you have less than or equal uh, Dawn to your opponent, your other characters cannot be KO'd. So this is a very strong card against any deck running KO, like any kind of red deck that might have KO, or black decks running KO, or yellow decks running KO. It says you cannot KO anything but this character first. Very powerful. Big Pan is allowing you to cheat out a four cost or less. And then you have Foxy. He's kind of the... he's. This is the, the main card in the deck that makes it really go to the next level if it ever can. Like, th this is one of the strongest cards in the deck. Seven costs 7,000 powers, not great stats, but listen to what he does. On your opponent's turn, all of if, if your leader's Foxy Pirates, then all your opponent's characters get minus 1,000 power. So if you have two of these down, minus 2,000 power. J just in, That's way stronger than you might think, guys. That, that is actually very, very powerful. Uh, it's like a lockdown effect. So when they have to overextend to attack, you lock them down with your leader, and now the characters they have left, you know, you see what's going on there. It, it has a lot of potential. Now, the, the second best card in this deck is actually Porsche or Porch. On play, Dawn minus one. Look at the top five cards of your deck. Add up to one Foxy Pirates to your hand. Put the rest in the uh, put the remainder on the bottom of your deck in any order. Then you may play up to one four thousand power or lower purple character from your hand. Now, notice it doesn't have to be Foxy Pirates, by the way. I'm not running any great synergy with that yet, and that that's if I want to take this deck to the next level, I need to find some good four thousand power characters that are purple that can be added, so I can throw those out. And just to give an idea, you can literally just type in uh, four thousand, hit purple, and it should bring up all the the uh, the power. Oops, you got to do power four thousand, p four thousand. Okay, and it'll bring up all the four thousand power characters that you can get. Like here you go. This probably would be a pretty decent include here. Uh, when this card comes out, it'll be very nice as well. Th there's a lot of uh, potential options there when we do want to uh, take this deck to the next level. Because, again, with uh, whoops, I should have just turned that off. Sorry, guys. Hopefully it doesn't lag out. Yeah, give me just a second. Turn this off. Ah, look how it's, it's like lag. There we go. Sometimes the, the sim does that. But... Like I was saying, you can only search for a Foxy Pirate card, but after you grab that card, you can play, like from hand, for free. You can play out a, a 4,000 power or lower character from your hand, no matter what it is, as long as it's purple. So really good stuff there. This, these two are very, very powerful, and they're what the deck needs to be built around, along with the Leader's Effect, obviously. Uh, next up is Noro Noro Beam. This is a miniature version of Hell's Judgment. Uh, Noro Noro Beam Sword. This is, this is a very powerful card. I'll probably go up to four of these. Dawn minus one, give up to one of your, uh, give up to one character or leader plus 2,000 power for the turn. So plus 2,000 for one of your guys. Then rest up to one of your opponent's characters. No cost restriction. Next up is Megadon Nine Tails Rush. This is a I'm Invincible for uh, Foxy Pirates. And then two Blast Breaths. We already know what those do. So there's the deck. Let's go ahead and look at the games now. And then we'll do some final thoughts at the end. Okay, first up, we've got Red Purple Luffy. Let me hit play, make sure the volume's off, make sure we're on 2x speed. Okay, and let me also move my, um, my my camera, get that out of the way. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. All right, we're good to go. So, what are we trying to do with Foxy? We're trying to build the board up. We're actually okay with taking a little bit of life early or even just aggressively countering out like these little 1k counters we have. Now, 7k, we don't even have a 2k in hand. Now we do. Uh, we'll take that, no problem. Now, we just want to keep filling out the board. It's the most important thing. And I do apologize, guys. I play a little bit slow this game. So, okay, play mistake right away there. Hang on. Um, give me just a second to hash these thoughts out. You want to fill out the board. I should have played out Big Pan there because he plays out a four cost or less when you don minus one. So it'll let me play out Porsche. And then with that, I can do the search I'm doing and exactly what she's doing. So it's like a, a, a way to fill out the board where you go big pan into Porsche into a 4,000 power less purple character. Very, very powerful synergy there. But I am still learning the deck. I'm still seeing how it goes. I could have one more character on the board here, but then I wouldn't be able to swing and I'd be down one extra dawn. But, but still, I would be at next turn, I'd be at seven dawn to drop my Foxy Pirates uh, character or Foxy character. Okay, I think he countered, uh, excuse me, he took that. I, I swung at eight. Remember, um, Red Purple Luffy's a 6,000 power leader. So I had to swing eight at him to, t to, to put some damage on him there. But I still think the better call would have been to play out the big pan because Red Purple Luffy does not have a lot of, um, <clears throat> you know, a lot of, <clears throat> excuse me, a lot of um, removal. So they play out a miss all Sunday. They're ramping, you know, to the hills here. And that's fine because I'm, I'm still at four life. I'm really not too uh, scared at this point. 
So he's going to swing five. I'm going to 1K counter out with the big pan that I had. He's going to swing six. I'm going to make 2K counter out. And I'm feeling pretty good about this game, right? Like this is actually, I'm in a very good position to win this game. So I'm going to swing six at the leader. I'm not using the character's effect because I want to, I want to wait before I do that. Because think about it. The Missile Sunday next turn, since I play the seven cost character, the Missile Sunday is now a 4,000 power character and the ulti is now a, what, a 2,000 power character. So if he wants to invest all of that Dawn into attacking me this turn, that's fine with me, right? Because yeah, I'll probably take one of the hits, sure, but then I can 1k counter out of one and 1k counter out of the other if I need to. So instead, he's going to play out the ulti combo here, the ulti, um, the page one ulti combo. This is an interesting, like, mid-range version of Red Purple Luffy. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, which I think I think it's not bad. Like, filling out the board is a pretty good thing to do. So swing five into me. Like I said, I'm going to be able to 1k counter out of that. Now, if he swings two here, I have to take it. Or if he swings for 6k or more here, I'm going to have to take these. Because I just don't have a counter in hand. But that's okay. I'm ready to start locking things down this next turn here. Watch what happens. Okay, swing six. I'll take it. He's got four Dawn left. Let's see if he wants to load it up on Missile Sunday or if he wants to play something else. Okay, he plays a Hidden Killer and does not commit with it. Very smart, actually. Very, very smart. So what we're going to do here, we're going to play out Foxy. Now, I'm going to attach one Dawn because otherwise I can't swing, you know, uh, into the leader. It'll just bounce. Swing six. Use my leader's effect. Lock down your leader. Lock down your ulti. Six is coming at him now. He's going to have to block out of that or take a hit. Or not block out, but counter out, or, or take a hit. Those two characters are locked. The, the leader and the character are locked down right now. And check this out. I can gain two. I can gain three Dawn this turn. With that, that Foxy gain one, that one gain one, and with that effect, gain one. Boom, I'm back up to ten Dawn. It's like my effect was free because of my characters on the board. Now, I'm not ready to commit yet. I would rather keep whittling his life down. He's down to one life, and I have a full board. He has a full board, but notice the minus two thousands across the board. He has a 3,000 Power Missile Sunday, a 3,000 Ulti, a 4,000 Page 1, uh, really a 5,000 uh, Kid and Killer because he gets plus 2k when he swings when I'm down to 2 life or less. And then, uh, well, actually, I'm not even at 2 life, am I? But still, then he's got uh, Queen, who is a 4,000 Power Blocker. Like, that, it's just that character. Like I said, if you're running against a deck that does not run removal, I think um, Foxy is very strong in that situation. So he's having to load up all this Dawn. He's only going to get one more attack, realistically. So swing five at me. I'll take it. That's fine. And then he swings here. And I go ahead and just... I, I think... Yeah, I think I use this effect now. So I'll, I'll do that. I give plus 2,000 to my leader. And then I tap down his other guy so he can't attack this turn. So there you go. That was that, right? That, that was... that. Like, he wanted to attack with the page one as well. But I was able to lock him down with that, that card, the Beam Sword. Beam Sword is very good. Like I said, I'll probably probably be, be going up to four of those okay so i do a poor search dawn minus one i grab a 2k uh, i don't play a card out but what i'm going to do here is now it is time for me to start you know taking control of this game um honestly i think i should just be going at all the characters on the board here but i think i do things a little bit differently i can't remember no, I do. I do go for the characters on the board. So seven into the Kid and Killer, lock down the, the leader again, and lock down the page one. He uses a Radical Beam to save it. I was like, okay, well, let's go seven into it now, because these are. I'm just getting cards out of hand at this point. He uses a second Radical Beam, seven more into it, and I, I'm trying to remember to get my Dawn back with the character, the seven cost character's effect. It, you know, it, it is very, uh, it, it, it's something to learn. It's something to remember how to play. So 6K into the Kid and Killer here. And then I'm going to go, I have to go six into it or else he can block for free with his queen. So I, instead I go seven. Let's see what he gives me. Okay, he's going to give me queen and probably a 2k counter here. Yep. Two. At this point in the game, I thought I've lost the game, by the way. I'm like, okay, well, I, I guess I just lose. Now I do have, um, you know, two of, the, two of his characters are locked down. I have a way to stop one in hand and probably two in hand realistically if I use all of my counter power and my event. Okay, but he swings for seven that first time. I have to take that one. That one we're going to have to take. He probably should have gone for my board here. But at the same time, I guess I could have kept countering out there as well. I guess it didn't matter. Swing seven. I've got five card, six cards in hand now. Easy minus two there. Plus one K. And that's game. Uh, there, there's no way out of it now, right? He has two cards in hand. I can just go all sixes or all eights to phase here. And that's it. 
So for, first game, pretty good, right? This this deck's uh, running pretty well. Sorry, this one took a while, guys. I had it on 2x speed and everything. We, we were both playing slow because these are new decks for both of us, right? Like, like I'm sure he's probably never played against a Foxy Pirate, and this is my first time. This I think this was my first or second time playing Foxy Pirate. Okay. All right, next game. So that was fun. The uh, Red Purple Luffy, very solid deck. It was nice to be able to beat that, but that was like more of a mid-range version. It was a little bit different than normal. Uh, okay, so speed's at 2x, the volume's down, and we're good to go. Now, this guy took a while to start, but don't worry, I've got it 2x speed. It'll be way faster now. So this was a deck that I was worried about going against because, because um, you know, <clears throat> Luchi does have quite a bit of removal. So I have to try to play around that to the best of my ability. Uh, the card Pickles will be very strong in this situation. Okay, let's see what he does here. He's going to swing five, at, uh, excuse me, eight at my face. And no reason to not take that. You know, I don't need to throw a bunch of cards away this early. So in this situation, I'll swing six. And then there's this really nice interaction between Porsche and Chopper. Okay, I'm waiting for him to counter out. So he does. I play out Porsche. I snag the seven cost guy, but now I can play a 4,000 powerless character from my hand. Play out the Tony Tony Chopper, and that ramps me back a Dawn. So I'm back up to the Dawn I needed to be at while using a Dawn minus one effect. It, again, a, a very, very strong synergy with the deck. That is a nice little turn two combo to do there. Playing out a three cost 5k and a zero cost blocker, and you still have your leader and all that good stuff. So he's at five dollars this turn. Um, I'm expecting something like a Kaku to come down here, you know, to, to take out my, my Porsche. But he could also use this time to develop. We'll have to see. Okay, so swing, swing for six, leaving four open. And if I'm not mistaken, like I said, I was expecting him to like do like a Rob Lucci. Yeah, he does. I was gonna say either Rob Lucci or um, uh, the door, the uh, air door. That's like the only possibility for what he did. And he goes with the Rob Lucci. I feel like he pulled the trigger a little early on Rob Lucci, unless maybe he has more in hand. I don't know what his hand is, obviously. Uh, but I'm going to go five at life here. He takes it. I'm going to play out another Porsche, return a Dawn. I'm going to snag, here I'm going to snag, uh, I think I grab, yeah, I think I should grab that card, the uh, the seven cost Fox that I was hovering over. Because once I get to the point where those start sticking, I, I, I go with the, uh, the Dawn ramp instead. That's fine. Because once you start getting that seven cost guy, down and you get a few of them down their attacks are completely neutered but right here i've got a full board i've got my, my dawns where it needs to be i think i i think i did that incorrectly where i should have done well, no no i'm sorry i think it worked either way because both of those porsches did dawn minus one okay good stuff and i'm up to i think i'm up to the same dawn as my opponent now he's at four he's at seven and actually i'm at six maybe i did something a little bit off there but i should be right around my, my opponent's um Dawn, I think if I'd done that properly. Okay, so he plays out of Khalifa. There's an air door on, on in his trash. That's very strange to me. Because um, with the new Luchi, he's running the new OP07 Luchi. I don't think you actually uh, need air door, but that doesn't mean you can't play it. Because the idea is you actually just want to generate as much value from your Gecko Moria. And if you accidentally hit Gecko Moria with your air door, you know, it's a real feels bad type of moment. Whereas, like, playing out Khalifa to draw two trash to, you won't get rid of it. Playing out Sabo, draw two trash to, it's not as bad either. Because you're already playing with fire by using the leader's effect to trash the top two as well. But, but anyway, we'll, we'll have to see. Who knows? I don't think they figured out perfectly what is the best OP07 decks yet. So he swings five, swing five. I'll just uh, block uh, counter counter, and then I'll take the 6k hit. I don't want to get rid of my blockers just yet. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I, I'd rather just keep my board nice and strong. And now that I have, like, this is this is where the deck becomes very powerful. You get all these ways to generate Dawn, and now watch what I do. I'm going to I'm going to attack five into I think face. Yeah, attack five into face here. Dawn minus three. Lock down your leader. Lock down your best character. And now those two cards don't exist anymore, right? Like, you know, for the rest of the game, those cards are not coming back online. <laughs> That's the best way I know how to say that. Because I'm going to keep generating all this Dawn with my characters, and I'm going to keep, you know, replacing it with my leader. Or like, you know, getting rid of it and replacing it back and forth with my leader and my characters. Now swing five. I don't even care about that Spandam, because that Spandam is now a, a 1,000 power base character. Or not base, I shouldn't say base. It's a 1,000 power character on his turn because of Foxy Pirates, or because of the Foxy character. Sure, if you want to invest four Dawn a turn into swinging with that little character, by all means. Same thing with Khalif, it's just 3,000 power now. If he wants to invest three, or excuse me, two Dawn to swing with that, I'm completely fine with it. And notice this. 
Otherwise, he can't swing now. Right? He has nothing to swing, swing with this turn because I locked down his leader and I locked down his character. So he is going to be taking a little bit of time here to think about what to do. Again, this is the sim, guys. This is not ranked. There's no telling how good these players are. And they're playing against new decks like Foxy Pirates here. He has no idea what to do, probably. Okay, so Don minus two, Don minus two from uh, Soap Sheep. That is very nice. Play out Rob Lucci. Pop. Now, I will say this. He should not. He should have popped my um, Ito Mimizu or whatever his name is, that three calls zero power guy there, because he is what's allowing me to use my leader effect every single turn. Him and the seven calls Foxy character, because they both give me two dawn a turn. So now I, I've eliminated two attacks from the game for, from, from here on, pretty much. So he has to attach two there. Swing five. Um, I'm at three life. I'm considering taking this. Yeah, and I do. And then he has to att he attaches two to his leader. He f I guess he keeps forgetting that he can't do like he should have just put all of it on the Khalifa. But I took the hit anyway, so it wouldn't have mattered. Guess what? If he thought that was bad before, here comes a second Foxy Pirates attack for attack for five again here. Return three dawn. Lock down the same two guys. And now your board is minus two thousand power. That is guys. That is crazier than it sounds. Like that that is very very hard to deal with. Okay, he's trying to, to figure out what he wants to do. Again, sorry guys, uh, this, this game did take quite some time because we're on 2x speed and everything. Yep, 2x speed. We're just waiting for him to make his decision. Okay, he makes it. I think he countered out, and now I'm swinging for 7. He takes that, and I'm, I gained 3 Dawn that turn from my, my two Foxy characters and my uh, It's a Mimizu guy. I've got lots of Foxy Pirates characters on the board. I'm in very good shape here. Very good shape. Um... Look, look at that. His his Rob Lucci cannot even attack me. Do y'all see like how this deck has potential? I think it's just missing like two or three uh, cards, like two or three Foxy Pirates cards that we can add. He just loaded up four on his leader. I don't understand. And he just taps out. Um, okay, so now I get to see his hand. If, if I were him, that turn, what I would have done, uh, like this turn he's on with 10 Dawn, uh, there's two plays he could have done. I would have either hit it with a Kuzan to uh, pop one of these guys here, my uh, maybe my uh, Itama Mizu guy, or you could have gone uh, the four cost 2k counter Kaku uh, to minus three to, oh wow, never mind. He, he can't even, because he can't attack with his leader for minus one, and he can only get minus three here, he cannot even use his Kaku to take out my seven cost characters. So, so his best bet there is either, either to play out the blocker Maybe go, actually, man, that, that's rough. Attack with what he can on the board by, by filling up Dawn. Play out the blocker with one Dawn to spare. Or play out the Kuzan. It's kind of, it's, you know, it's 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 a bad position either way. Okay. And then, lastly, we got this one versus Boa Hancock. Okay, volume's off. Let me go up to 2x speed. <clears throat> Excuse me. And here we go. So this is a leader that has bottom decking. So the, the, the Pickles character is not quite as good in this matchup because of the bottom decking. But at the same time, we're not too, you know, it's not the end of the world. We have lots of ways to fill the board up and, and all kinds of good stuff. But Blue has the absolute best counter against us currently in the game, being um, Gravity Blade Raging Tiger. Swing six into leader. I've got three left to play Porsche for the turn. Okay, gives me a 2k counter. Very nice. I do a top search. I go ahead and grab, I think I grab the, the uh, chopper here. Yeah, because he's a blocker. And then I can play out the chopper. He ramps my dawn back, and now I've got a blocker on the board. And it's like, okay, if you want to deal with something, like remove something, you kind of have to pick and choose which one you want to get rid of. And they're both bad choices, right? They're, they're, neither of them are good. So he does the uh, Trafalgar Law 2K counter effect here. And I, ha I didn't even see it at first. Like, I wasn't paying attention. And I'm like, why is the game locked up? And then I realized, oh wait, I have to trash a card. <laughs> it took me a little bit to figure that out. So I dropped the six cost guy, and now he's probably just going to swing for six with leader. Um, I think this deck's best matchups are probably going to be, um, I, I don't know. I was going to say like maybe blue, maybe maybe yellow. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly. I, I haven't done a ton of play testing with it, but just any any deck that has a problem with you filling up the board nonstop. And that doesn't even really attack, so you can't attack any other characters. They're gonna have the biggest problem with it. Okay, so right here, I play. I think I go with the uh, the capote. Yep. Return one dawn. Lock that guy down, and then play out the chopper hard cast to go up a dawn. So next turn, I will have enough to play out. I'll have enough dawn to play out my foxy uh, character. 
Because like I said, once Foxy's down, guys, it is it is starting to enter into lockdown mode. Now, I didn't necessarily need to do the capote there after thinking about it because like I could have just gone with the Dawn Ramp guy. Because here's what I was gonna say. Foxy, I kind of want him to swing with two character with his with this leader and his character so I can lock them down. But I do need to wait a little bit. Okay, so he just cleared my board there with Gravity Blade Raging Tiger. Very unfortunate, but it is what it is. <clears throat> Excuse me. So right here, um, I'm going to swing five at leader. I play out the Foxy character. I've got two blockers. I'm going to swing for five with, with my character and five with my leader. And, and we're in good shape now. We're, we're in very good shape. Okay, now he's going to have things like Red Rock or things like uh, 3,000 uh, 3, Worlds. I'm, I'm not sure what Bo is running right now. There's not a lot of lists out. Okay, and it looks like he just red rocked. Uh, no, no, what? Did, I'm not sure what he did there. Actually, I missed it because he was countering. Uh, oh, did he? Um, hang on one second, guys. Let me go back. We, we got to go back. So swing five. Oh, sorry, that was just in his trash from the last time. Sorry. Okay, and then I'm gonna pass turn. Um, <clears throat> if I remember correctly, I, I believe he red rocks my guy here. Yeah, very nice. Now he can attack with his leader and Jinbei. But I'm not, I'm not too upset about that, right? Like, okay, I'll probably block out a one, depending on what he swings for. And then I, I can just lock them down for the rest of the game. Okay, five into my character. I'm not going to let you have it for five, right? Like, I mean, okay, I do. Just kidding. <laughs> I'll say, did I really let him have that? But it's like, oh, wait a minute. I wanted him to swing into life. I forgot. It's, it's hard to remember what I'm doing at the time. Because remember, I, I pre-record these usually the day before. And then I, and then I uh, commentate over them the next day for the video. So... Play out Capote, minus one. I have to fill the board back up with Foxy Pirate's characters here, or I can't do the effect. So Capote to minus one, or to make it where the, his character can't attack. Play out Inazuma guy, minus three Dawn. Lock down. His whole board is locked down. Because Capote said your one cost guy can't can't attack now, and my leader said your, your two rested uh, leader and characters cannot attack now either. So I just time warped, right? Like I, I basically just got through an entire turn without losing anything. Um, and back to what, what I was saying before, it was smart. To, I don't know if it was smart or not to uh, to let that go like that, the, uh, the 5K, because maybe I should have used my a 1K counter in hand and then just blocked out with a chopper for the bigger attack. It's kind of hard to say, to be honest. Okay, so right here, I'm going to generate a Dawn with uh, Itamimizu. Uh, swing five first. I'm just going everything at face. I'm actually trying to win the game. Like, not this turn, but I'm trying to just, like, get my opponent down lower and lower. Because Boa has uh, a lot of ways to draw cards, which I will say right now, I don't know why you would be running Kaido in Boa Hancock. <clears throat> Excuse me, I, I don't think it's a great idea. I, I don't really see a point in doing it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so I'm going to swing seven at, uh, at leader here, use the effect, Don minus three, lock those two down, and we'll see what he gives me. He gives me a life, and pass turn. So I still have seven... Uh, or excuse me, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Dawn. He has to do things in the right order here or I'm just going to lock him down with that that uh, Noro Noro Beam Sword. And even still, it doesn't matter, right? Because I'm going to lock down the dragon next turn if he attacks, period. Okay, so let's see what he does here. He's deep in the tank. He's taking a little bit on this turn. Because remember, guys, I do have this in 2x speed. Um, but I, I, honestly, this is the situation where he... He needs another Gravity Blade Raging Tiger. There's pretty much no other way around it. He needs Gravity Blade Raging Tiger, or he's just uh, basically done for. Okay, so he plays out an Edward Weevil here, plays out a uh, Doflamingo, and I think he plays out another Doflamingo. But that's just not going to do it, right? That's Now, remember, with Foxy Pirates, as long as I have ways to generate Dawn, I can just lock your board down indefinitely. And, and at, at least if your character's are rested, if your leader and character's rested. So right here, five at life. I'm just I'm just gonna get all the cards out of his hand or all the cards from his life. That that's my game plan here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay. Now right here, I gotta do a little bit of thinking because, like I said, I, I am still very new to this deck. I had to read the cards a few times, and he ends up just like surrendering. I think it was out of well, actually, he has a two K, a two K, a two K, and a one K. But here's how this turn was gonna go. I was going to play. I had to play out a uh, Foxy Pirate so I could do, do the leader the leader effect, and it was going to be play Capote the the three call sky down here. Play out Capote to make it where your Edward Weevil cannot attack this turn, and then I'm going to make I'm going to swing with my leader with whatever's left, either uh, probably at face to force either a blocker or something else off the board. Actually, maybe I should have swung a Jinbei. It's hard to say, 
and then lock down your dragon and your leader. What's he going to do after that, right? Like, I mean, I guess he could play, like, he has a lot of big cards in hand. He could play out something like, uh, you know, uh, the Boa Hancock that I have on the screen there, or maybe the Seven Cost Dophy to bounce a card, the the Draco Mihawk to bounce stuff. But again, I'm just slowly whittling my opponent down and just locking them out of the game, locking all their, their, their leader attacks and their best characters out of the game. So really cool stuff there. Uh, again, I think the deck has a lot of potential. Okay, so just to kind of go over it one last time, let me uh, move my face, like final thoughts. And please, guys, if you have any uh, ideas or thoughts or suggestions, please don't hes hesitate to put them down in the comment section below. Um, the 2K counter here, that slot's open for whatever, but this this is probably your best 2K counter because it goes with your uh, your Porsche if you need it, and it has Dawn Ramp if needed as well. The Raise You is just a nice utility slot, just like the Blast Breath. These are just really strong, generically powerful purple cards, especially when you're reducing Dawn. There's almost no reason not to run Raise You. Uh, th that's kind of the card that kept me in that last game, right? Being able to draw two after like getting my board wiped twice. Uh, very powerful. Um, Itamizu and Chopper. These are... These are absolute essentials in the deck, I think, guys. I mean, maybe you can go down to three of the Itamamizu guy, but Chopper being a little two-cost blocker with a 1k counter that ramps Dawn, he is insanely powerful. Uh, Porsche, for, for what he's doing. For, for two costs for what he's doing, he's ex extremely good. Porsche was excellent. Foxy was excellent. Um, this is where I wish there was another card here. Uh, I didn't have a lot of success with Big Pan. Big Pan and Porsche always seemed kind of just decent. I like Porsche better because I can play him out for free with, with uh, or excuse me, yeah, or Pickles. Excuse me, I kept saying Porsche. Pickles and Big Pan were kind of uh, lackluster, but I liked Pickles better because I could play him out for free with Porsche. Uh, Capote was excellent. This card was way better than I thought it was. I was like, ah, that, that's not very good because it's, you know, they can just attack the next turn. You're just kind of delaying the inevitable. You're really not. What, what you're doing is you're just trying to get to the late game and fill out your board in the process. This card's excellent. Uh, Gene is fine. It's just a 2K counter. And and that's really about it um, for like for what I have here. I wish there was a better option for Big Pan. I wish there was like a nice, maybe even a 5-cost card or a 4-cost card that I could have in the place of it. And for those wondering, th this is all we have for Foxy Pirates for Purple. I'm playing everything you see. And the only card that I'm not running is this guy. He's a 5 cost 6k, 1k counter. Dawn times 1 when attacking. If your board has uh, less than or equal Dawn to your opponent, add a Dawn. But as you guys know, there's a lot of removal in this set. And I feel like, I don't know, maybe I'll try him next. I will say that because I do I, I do think there's it's it's lacking a really good 4 or 5 drop character. Maybe this will be that slot there or the spot that I can uh, fill there. And then there was this card, Monda. I was not a fan of this card. Uh, I did play with it a little bit, but it's a 2 cost, 3,000 power, 1k counter, activate main, trash this character. If your leader has Foxy Pirates type, add up to one Dawn card from your Dawn deck rested. Uh, I, I just, just, I don't know. Trashing the character just was not great for me, like, personally. I, I didn't think it was that good. I don't know how else to say it. But yeah, I think this deck is just lacking a little tiny bit of support, just being completely honest, being transparent, being real with y'all. I think I think the deck needs like a built-in Foxy 2K counter, just like how they have a Gina. If if Foxy had a like a four cost or five cost um, 2K counter that it could search up with Porsche and maybe it'd be a 4,000 power card, that would be really nice. That would be really good, just like how it has with Gina, it can search that up. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I think it just it does just need a little a little bit of extra strength, a little extra, you know, a few more extra strong cards. Maybe even a stage would be nice. If Foxy Pirates had a stage that was like Foxy the character, where you could minus one thousand for the turn, whew, that that would be <laughs> that would be really nice, right? That'd be really good. Uh, I do think Queen can go in the deck, like just to kind of you know mention a few cards here. Let me um, let me do this. It's it's faster if you go. Let me click purple. Okay, nice. It's it still had them all loaded. Like some cards to consider adding as soon as it's available. You know, uh, Bond Clay. Well, actually, I'm sorry. This will be available as soon as uh, Foxy's available. Like it'll be <laughs> it'll be available before um, Foxy. But Bond Clay. This is a really nice card because it's 1,000 power. You can cheat it out with your Porsche. Maybe this would take the place of. I, I don't know. It's it's hard to say. We'll have, we'll have to work it around a little bit. But, but remember, guys, the main thing is you have to have a pretty decent amount of Foxy Pirates or you're not going to be able to get your leader's effect off. But just some cards to consider. Uh, Mr. Two Bond Clay, Miss Wednesday. These are very strong 4,000 power or less cards you can cheat out. And there's a few others, but I, I don't know. Some, some of these don't seem as good. 
Um, maybe Magellan would be something to mess around with. No, never mind. That, that, would, that would probably set you back too far for what you're trying to do. Uh, but where's Queen at? I, th I think I already passed Queen. Eustace Captain Kid might not be too bad, but remember, for some of these effects, you do want to have less than or equal Dawn than your opponent, right? Like, like for example, with Chopper, you want to have less than or equal Dawn. Um, with this guy, Big Pan, if you keep him in, you have to, you have, to have less than or equal Dawn. With, with Pickles, you have to have less than or equal Dawn. So maybe he's not the greatest card for this deck. Now, this card might be. Uh, uh, Vince Moe Kikiji, or Ichiji Ikiji. This card might be pretty good because you could. This will be like kind of like your other seven cost card. Like say you don't get this soon enough, being able to get this card, if you play it with less than or equal dawn to your opponent, minus two thousand to a character, and you can rush into it. Maybe this becomes like a really strong finisher card as like a one or two of in the deck. Uh, but then again, if you're going for a finisher card, it's hard to beat Kaido, and that is worth considering as well. Um, Queen, here's is like here's here's the card we were looking for. Queen, this card's very solid. Uh, and if you need removal, maybe King is an option. King and Kaido, and these these three right here, Queen, King, and Kaido, these are all very, very strong additions to the deck. Um, what what else? What else? Aid might not be the worst thing, but I don't know. I, I think I don't think the the Dawn um, like we have enough ways to generate Dawn with Foxy, with um, Itamamizu, and Tony Tony Chopper. So I, I don't think we would really need much more Dawn generation. Uh, this is a card that I just absolutely love from purple, but I unfortunately I just don't think it I, I don't think it fits quite that well in the deck we're running, so probably can't run that unfortunately. And then the rest of these are events to just kind of sift through and look through. All right, guys, uh, that's probably where I'm going to end it there. Uh, here's another raise you card from Oki07, very cool. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably where, where I'll end it. You guys tell me what y'all think in the comment section below. I was a really big fan of, of messing with this leader. I, I thought he... I think this this deck has way more potential than I originally thought. I'm just going to say that right now. Because when I when I first... Uh, there were a few people asking for uh, Foxy in, in the comment section. And I was like, oh man. I'm going to have to play like a thousand games to get to get like some good games in. I hopped on the sim, threw the deck together with like mainly Foxy Pirates as a theme. Because you have to have that. And then did a few uh, fixes here and there. Made sure I had the right amount of 2k counters. Made sure I had enough utility. <laughs> and it was like, wow, this deck's actually pretty decent. I, I think it's still missing some stuff, but it's way better than I thought. All right, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Uh, please do not forget to like and subscribe if you've not already. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please don't hesitate to, uh, to list them down in the comment section below. All right, guys, until next time. Peace.